Ag Week TV, presented by Kaler Farms. Welcome back to Ag Week TV. Soil health is a very important topic, especially nowadays. And Abby Wick with NDSU Extension joins us now. She's a soil health specialist. You have a really unique project. Tell us about it. You know, it's, it's always difficult for farmers to measure soil health in their fields. And there are all these tests you can run and numbers you can get, but oftentimes the best test is a visual one. And so we've been burying men's underwear in fields as a measure of soil health. It's called uh, Soil Your Undies, right? The kind of the, the Twitter sensation. It is, so if you look at hashtag Soil Your Undies, you'll find all kinds of stuff from Ontario, from all over the US now, where, where different farmers and also extension people and researchers are burying undies and then digging them up after a couple of months of being in the ground and seeing how, how much they've decomposed from the biological activity in the soil. Not very deep in the ground either, right? Yeah, we just, we put them in about an inch in the ground and because we wanted to capture that surface biological activity where almost everything is happening. And there's a real technique to this, Shauna. So <laughs> you lay them flat and then you put the soil back on top of them. And, and the best way to really evaluate the system is to look at a good comparison. So. So hopefully we've, we've got some here at the share farm where we've buried them in, I think it's been a year and a half of no-till, and then we buried them in our chisel plow plots just to see if there's a difference. Abby, you're going to dig up the first pair, and this one comes in the no-till side. Oh. These are actually de pretty decomposed, aren't <laughs> they? They are. You left the outer band out there so you can know where they were, but look at that. Yeah, so this is really, I mean, the microbes will feed on these and they'll, they'll start decomposing this material. Sometimes we actually will pull these out in some of these long-term no-till systems and it will be literally just the band and the stitching. And it's kind of amazing how much, how much decomposition there actually is. So I would think this is probably pretty good for just a year and a half of no-till and being pretty recent into this transition. So now in the chisel plow field, we're going to dig these ones up and you can already see how there's, there's not as much residue on the surface. So that's kind of a, a difference between the two the two systems. And so there's actually, there's quite a bit less decomposition and breakdown of the undies. Yeah, there's a big difference, isn't there? So this to me tells me that this, that this soil is not as biologically active and, and um, that would have impacts for, for nutrient cycling efficiency and all those aspects that we look for in soil health that are biologically driven. You can really see a big difference between the no-till and the conventional till. I think so. After just a year and a half of, of reducing tillage, and we did incorporate some cover crops into the system, that, that that's really jump-started the biology and, and the soils and, and helped them decompose. Abby, thanks for uh, letting us come out and check out your underwear here today. <laughs> Anytime, Sean. I got them buried all over the state. 